Hi, this is Paul Shemo, and I'm going to talk about uh, where Guidance Software's technology fits into the broader security landscape with all the uh, different product categories out there that you'll encounter. So first I want to talk about the perimeter, and I w which uh, essentially is at the edge of your network that keeps uh, malicious files and web traffic and emails uh, from getting in. And I want to talk about uh, prevention and detection uh, not just at the perimeter, but also on your actual endpoints themselves. So the first kind of general products I'm going to talk about is these type of per per perimeter protection products. They'll do things like firewalls or variations of firewalls that will do things like they'll keep um, sets of rules or policies um, to prevent certain traffic from coming through. Um, they also uh, look for known bad traffic, whether it be IPs, uh, or URLs that they prevent from coming in. Um, and of course, we all know about spam filters. Um, hopefully they keep out uh, a lot of bad email traffic that uh, annoys us or reduces our productivity, but also as well catching um, security threats for, through social engineering attacks like phishing emails, spear phishing emails, etc. And then of course, uh, th these days you also see um, products will actually at the perimeter will actually take uh, files and they'll actually put them in sandboxes and execute them to see what they want to do or they'll uh, take URLs and run them in uh, uh, inside of a, a virtual sandbox to see if any bad behavior occurs and then based on that they may decide yes it's okay or no this is a malicious file or URL. So this is really what you'll see at the perimeter. You'll see products like uh, Cisco, um, IBM, Checkpoint, have perimeter products that you'll encounter. And they're really attempts to keep the bad stuff from entering the network, which obviously if you read the news, um, they're not working that well. Uh, we're in the post-perimeter world where the stuff is, is sure to get in and be on your endpoints. So let's talk about protecting uh, the endpoints here. The first obvious product category that we've all heard of over the years is antivirus. An antivirus is really looking for um, malicious files, malware that's sitting on our endpoints. And in the old days, they used to use uh, signatures. They would have these big databases of known past malware. Uh, and hopefully based on what the bad guys have done in the past, they would be able to detect whether files were good or bad on the endpoints. Uh, these days, um, the, the category now that's a little more advanced, the endpoint uh, protection platforms, they'll also do things like uh, they'll use rule sets to categorize general bad behavior of files on disk. Um, they'll use um, statistical analysis. And then some of them these days are actually uh, doing uh, what the marketers call artificial intelligence, but is actually, in fact, machine learning machine learning. And for instance, Silence is a product that does that. And there's a variety of other endpoint protection products you'll run into that we're all familiar with, the McAfee, Symantec, etc. And so these are really looking for um, commoditized hardware, uh, kind of lower hanging fruit malware, not the advanced targeted stuff. Um, although they are getting better at some of that too. And they're mainly looking at the, the binary files on the disk. Uh, when malicious code is injected into processes, or um, even, even running processes, they tend not to cover that as much as files on disk, but it really depends on, on, on the vendor. Um, but uh, they're not foolproof, uh, which is why we're seeing uh, malware that uh, sits on network for many, many months and uh, brings about very painful data breaches where sensitive data is stolen. So let's talk about the next category of how people are protecting their, their endpoints. We're gonna talk about very briefly patch management So uh, this is essentially looking for scanning for vulnerabilities. Do they have any vulnerabilities on your endpoints? Um, oh, there's a vulnerability. Uh, this this uh, endpoint needs a patch, and they push out a patch onto that endpoint. And products that fit this are like, uh, you might bump into Landesk, IBM, Tanium, et cetera. And uh, then the next set of uh, detection and protection type products that you're gonna see is, there's all sorts of traffic going on on your network, uh, both internally and uh, obviously coming in from the endpoint. 
And so what you'll have is, I'm sorry, coming in through the, through the perimeter. And what you'll have here is these products that are essentially sitting there watching everything that's going on. And they are called uh, intrusion, pre uh, pre uh, intrusion prevention systems or intrusion detection systems. And these are looking for um, certain traffic or behavior that's bad, um, th uh, thresholds that it's been exceeded for traffic or activity or access. And when they see these type of things, they will basically um, throw an alert and says, wait a minute, I detect that there's you know, probably an intrusion on this network.